Hey guys, Bethany here with the next chapter. Um, I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, Wednesday is my grocery shopping day. I live pretty far from town. I always save up my shopping for one day a week and it's kind of my favorite day of the week because I am able to just put an audiobook on in my car and as I drive around and, and do all my things then I get to listen to a book and so I thought I'd share with you today what I'm listening to. I'm listening to The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out a Window and Disappeared by Jonas Johansson. I'm about 50% through it and I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a good fun read. It reminds me of a cross between like the movie Secondhand Lions and Forrest Gump. So we've got this old guy who lives in a nursing home and he decides he wants to just leave and so he ends up going on this adventure. So what's fun is that this book also tells his life story and so we get to go back in time and, and sort of like Forrest Gump, he, he's kind of present for uh, lots of historical things. All right, I've got to go do my grocery shopping now, but I'm excited to see what happens and, and how everything turns out for him. See you guys in a bit. So yesterday, after I got done grocery shopping, I didn't have a chance the rest of the day to listen to my book. It was actually really annoying because I wanted to know what was going to happen. I've got five kids, so there's always something crazy and hectic going on. I had to teach piano lessons. I had to make dinner. And then we found this pile of feathers in the yard and it was really weird and we finally figured out it must have come from the neighbor's chickens. So we spent some time investigating that and figuring out who lost the chicken, but luckily I finally got to finish it today. We have this hundred year old man who, when we learn his backstory, has lived a life of fantastical adventure and meeting up with all kinds of quirky and fun characters. They all have something funny about them or able to help him and he definitely has more than nine lives. My favorite quote from the book was when he told someone else, I wasn't always a hundred, that's something that just happened recently. I was really glad I picked it up because I've read some really heavy stuff lately. I think you ought to give it a go. And uh, if you have read it, why don't you leave me a comment, tell me what you thought. I also know that they made a movie about six years ago out of this book. So if you liked that, let me know. I haven't seen it. And otherwise, just don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss what's happening in the next chapter. Thanks for watching.